Good Thursday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's weather forecast, I'll be going over the slow-moving cold front with more severe weather and flash flooding, especially across the southern and southeastern United States. Then we'll look ahead to the updates on your Easter weekend forecast with your temperature and precipitation trends, followed by a major warming trend for the middle of April. How warm will the temperature soar? We'll get to those details later on in this video. If you guys are not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of my daily weather forecast updates each and every morning at 9 a.m. on this channel. I cover Southern Canada, the United States, and the tropics here during tropical weather season. And also, don't forget to press the like button down below. The more likes we get, the more people that view this video. So I definitely appreciate all the new subscribers and all the likes here on today's video. But going back to Tuesday, it was a very active day. We had a lot of severe weather, in fact, up to 11 tornado reports here across parts of the Midwest and the Missouri Valley. And then going back to yesterday, we had three tornado reports with even several wind reports, up to 116 wind reports, 23 hail reports for a total of 142 severe weather reports in total on Wednesday. So it has been an active last couple of days, and we're going to finish active here as we go through your Thursday. So we got that cold frontal boundary moving across the eastern two-thirds of the country. It's going to be very slow moving moving. So we're going to see a lot of heavy rain and more severe weather here. Not a big severe weather day, but we have a slight risk for severe weather here across central and eastern Virginia, getting up into portions of southern Maryland and southern Delaware as well. That's something we'll have to watch. Also another marginal risk, a one out of five down here into south central Texas. This does include the San Antonio and Houston regions. That will be something we'll watch going forward through today. The hazards these storms could bring, maybe some 60 mile per hour wind gusts, a good rush of wind from these storms, especially if you live up here into central and eastern Virginia, southern Maryland, into southern Delaware, you have a slightly better chance of seeing that, although we still could be seeing some 50, 60 mile per hour wind gusts across south central Texas as well. And both these areas, we could be seeing up to quarter size hail. Again, not a big day for severe weather, and you see that with the tornado probabilities, less than 2%. So mainly just damaging winds and large large hail will be the hazards for the most part going through your Thursday. With that said, we have those warmer temperatures ahead of the cold front that will be sparking some of the severe storms behind the cold front. Temperatures will be cooling off into the 50s and some low 60s out here across the Great Plains, the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, even some colder temperatures found up into the upper Midwest where we have that deeper snowpack. We'll only be able to muster the upper 20s up here into North Dakota, western portions of Minnesota and North northeastern South Dakota this afternoon. But down where we have the active weather, we have those dew points surging into the 50s, the 60s out here. We're going to be wringing all of this moisture out here in the form of some heavy rainfall, some flash flooding, and even the severe storms later on today. So let's time this out. This is the noon time frame. Again, we have some rain showers across portions of the eastern Ohio Valley from eastern Ohio down through middle and western Tennessee, and then some more organized rain and storm activity into east Texas by the noon time frame. Again, just waves of showers and storms will be moving through another wave up here into the mid-Atlantic. Those storms could be strong. Again, damaging winds, large hail. Um, the main concerns with those storms as well as the heavy rainfall threat that will transfer down here into south central Texas much of the same damaging winds large hail and again the heavy rainfall threat will probably be a bigger deal down here through tonight that goes through your Friday morning again every so often we'll have a few waves of showers and storms moving through every couple of hours here across the Tennessee Valley, the Mid-Atlantic, and portions of the South. So that will be something to contend with going through your Friday morning commute. Going into Friday, April 7th, that cold front starts to slowly dive on down to the South and East. It will start to turn more stationary. So we're not going to see this move too much going into your upcoming weekend. So we're going to see more waves of showers and storms across portions of the Carolinas, Virginia, getting down into Eastern Tennessee here, getting into the Deep South, just more rainfall fall here going into the noon time frame on Friday. That will continue right along that stationary boundary or that slow moving cold front across the southeast um, going through Friday afternoon into Friday evening and then going ahead into Saturday that slowly be able uh, will be able to drift farther down to the south here entering into southern Alabama, southern Georgia and north Florida with that boundary on Saturday opening up your Easter weekend. 
and that will bring more heavy rainfall on Saturday. So in total, the rainfall accumulation from now through Easter Sunday on the 9th, we're going to see some very heavy rainfall down here from portions of coastal Texas, East Texas, all the way through the Gulf Coast states here from Louisiana, Mississippi into Alabama here, Georgia, South and North Carolina, and even parts of Tennessee here and up into Virginia as well. We will be seeing lots of heavy rain. Anywhere you see these lighter blues, that's where we're seeing at least an inch of rainfall wherever you see the purple and red on the map, especially organized here into east and southeast Texas, through much of Louisiana, Mississippi, and then on up into the Carolinas there, that's where we're at least seeing two or three inches of rain, possibly even higher than that in some localized areas going through this upcoming weekend. So with that said, from now into Friday morning, we're concentrating our flash flooding potential down here across southeast Texas. So Houston, down through Corpus Christi, the Victoria area, getting up into Shreveport, that's where we have to be on high alert for flash flooding going into Friday morning going into Friday afternoon, into Saturday morning. That will shift off slowly to the east, closer to that stationary boundary here. So New Orleans, getting up there towards places like Jackson, Mississippi, that's where that flash flooding potential will be highest on Friday into Saturday. And then Saturday into Sunday, this Easter weekend, we have that marginal risk for flash flooding across the Central Carolinas, Central Georgia, Southeastern Alabama, and Northwest Florida here. That's what we'll have to see as we go in toward this weekend. But seeing on Saturday, again, this is your Easter weekend forecast. The middle of the country will be very quiet. We got a lot of high pressure working in, lots of sunshine, so definitely get out and enjoy that. We got a couple storm systems we're watching on either side of the country. We got a storm system up here entering in the Pacific Northwest and in that stationary boundary with that moisture, again, right along that system, right here into the southeast on Saturday. And you can see that timing it out for you Saturday morning. That organized rainfall will be down here toward New Orleans through the Atlanta metro area and much of the Carolinas, a soggy rainfall for you starting off your Saturday morning. That will continue through much of the afternoon, so probably a day to stay inside down here across the Carolinas, Georgia, and the Gulf Coast there. But the middle of the country will be great. We're going to see lots of sunshine on Saturday afternoon, so get out and enjoy it here. Um, and even it's Saturday night, so very quiet here. That stationary boundary on Saturday night will start to move off the coast into portions of central Florida, and that will end the rainfall for parts of central Georgia Georgia there, Alabama, and parts of the Western Carolinas. We're still hanging on to the rainfall Saturday night, though, across the coastal regions here from the Carolinas down through Georgia and East Florida there. So some unsettled times going through that time frame. But overall, Saturday for high temperatures, it can't get much better than this, guys. The middle of the country, widespread 60s and 70s. Again, lots of sunshine. Get outside, enjoy it. Go for a walk, go for a run, anything you can do. Take a picnic outside. Definitely a great time to do it on Saturday. And if you can't do it on Saturday, Easter Sunday, another great opportunity with about 80 to 90 percent of the country actually staying dry on Easter Sunday. This could not be better timed. We're going to get rid of the rainfall slowly but surely down here into the southeast. We're going to see some rain up here into the Pacific Northwest, but not an all-day soaker here, at least for Central Oregon. Here we could see some showers, but the more organized rainfall will be up into like British Columbia, the Seattle region. Not everywhere in the Pacific Northwest will see an all-day rain on Easter Sunday, but timing it out up here again, we got some more rain fall across Washington, Oregon State, maybe some snow in the higher elevations of British Columbia. And then you can see down here into the southeast, again, not an all-day washout for you guys. There will be dry time, but the more organized rain could be across Florida on Easter Sunday morning. That will be said across the Miami area up there toward Daytona Beach. We could be seeing some afternoon showers and storms there on Sunday afternoon. And then going into Sunday night, we could have a couple showers try to fire up here across the Great Plains and up into the Midwest. Those probably will not be reaching the the ground as our air mass will be pretty dry. So that high pressure system will be bringing lots of sunshine here this upcoming weekend. And again, Easter Sunday, do enjoy it. Lots of these 70s out here, some 80s into West Texas, the panhandle here of Oklahoma and Texas. And again, some 90s being found across the desert areas into Phoenix, back into Los Angeles here, Death Valley, those areas seeing some very warm conditions. And overall, we definitely will be seeing some great weather going into your Easter weekend here. But our next system we're watching 
is across portions of the Pacific Northwest. So on Saturday, April 8th, we're going to see that across the Aleutian Islands start to slowly dive off to the south and east going into Easter Sunday. We got the ridging ahead of that starting to build, so you know you're going to see the warmer temperatures getting into early next week. And by Monday, April 10th, that low pressure system and that trough starts to dig in across the northwestern states here, across Washington State, Oregon, and even British Columbia into western Canada. That will be bringing some unsettled times there. So on Saturday, you can see some snowfall here into the higher elevations of British Columbia. Not yet seeing too much rainfall into Washington or Oregon on Saturday. I think more organized rainfall will move in for your Easter Sunday, especially near the Seattle regions. Some heavier snowfall up here into southern and southwestern British Columbia. Definitely seeing several inches there. That will continue across much of southern uh, British Columbia into southwestern Alberta, Canada with the snowfall on Monday, April 10th. Much more of this rainfall will be overspreading northern California, western and central Oregon, and portions of Washington State getting into early next week. But you do notice downstream from that trough, there's not much much going on. So again, lots of sunshine, double barreled high pressure here from the Rockies all the way to the East Coast does mean a lot of sunshine here. But looking across the Pacific Northwest, total rainfall accumulation from Saturday through Monday, so the 8th of April through the 10th time frame, some very heavy rain across western Washington State and northwestern Oregon, especially the Seattle region, seeing 1 to 3 inches of rain for you during that time frame. And again, this won't be producing too much snowfall in the United States, but some heavier snow can be found up into British Columbia and Alberta, Canada with several inches on the way there. Again, if we do see snow here in the higher elevations, it could add up to a few inches. Not too big of a deal going through this upcoming weekend and into early next week. But by the time we get in toward the middle of April, we're going to see that ridge continue to dominate across the eastern two-thirds of the country. We got that trough hanging on out here to the Pacific Northwest and kind of diving down toward California with some unsettled weather. So that means some below normal temperatures for you. And this ridge of high pressure does have staying power all the way through at least the 19th of April. So definitely get used to the spring-like temperatures across the eastern two-thirds of the country because they will be sticking around for the next couple of weeks at least and giving you a preview of that. So going into early next week on Tuesday, April 11th, widespread 60s and 70s all across the eastern two-thirds of the country, anywhere east of the Rockies, definitely going to be enjoying some spring-like temperatures on Tuesday. That continues on Wednesday. Car uh, copy and paste that here into Thursday. Again, seeing more 70s out here and even Friday going into late next week and toward next weekend, still seeing those widespread 70s and even some 80s as well farther south. So some spring-like temperatures temperatures and you do notice a little bit of some warmer temps up here in toward Minnesota and the Dakotas over that snowpack that does concern me for some rapid snow melt going toward next week. So this is on Monday, April 10th. You see that deep snowpack here around one to two feet up here, especially in the eastern North Dakota, northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin here. Look how that warmth starts to eat away at that snowpack in the middle of next week on Wednesday, April 12th. That continues in a big way through Friday, April 14th, right through the middle of the month. And with that rapid snow melt, even going in towards next weekend, you could be assured that there will be some river flow flooding potential here through the middle and late portion of April. As we get into the third and last week in April, there could be some moderate to major flooding, especially on the Mississippi River and some of the tributary rivers up here across the north, and maybe at least some minor to moderate flooding farther south here as it gets down toward the Memphis region and St. Louis along the Mississippi River towards the middle and late portion of April. So if you live along river uh, riverways here, creeks, streams, lakes, anything like that, just be watching out for some flooding going toward the middle and end of the month with that rapid snow melt. But I do want to note that if you guys want to follow me on Twitter for additional weather forecast updates, you can do so at hweather420. I will be posting on there, uh, again, periodically about the additional weather forecasts, stuff like that, to keep you up to date on there as well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Remember to like the video down below, give it a thumbs up, leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll get to those later on today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new, and hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates on this channel. Have a great Thursday, everybody. A great rest of your week, and I will see you all in the next video.